Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a lot of items that you're gonna need for your first apartment, a bathroom addition. So I'm sitting in my, I'm standing in my bathroom right now. I have some items um, I would advise you guys to get. This is all based off of my experience. I've lived in many different apartments. So I think um, I can hopefully give you guys helpful information. I'm gonna pretend that you guys are like my younger sibling and I'm giving you advice or if you're my younger cousin. So the first thing I have in my hand is hand soap. This is really um, helpful. I think this is one of the best hand soaps I've gotten. You can get this like at Walmart. Um, it's under like $4 and this lasts me a really long time. If you're sharing a bathroom, you might go through it a lot faster. So you might want to go to Costco or maybe get two of these. But um, for myself, I think this lasts me like a few months. Um, along with that, you definitely want to get um, a soap dispenser because obviously you have soap, so you're gonna need dispenser. Um, the metal one, I would advise not to get because it gets like rusted or like dirty looking. So if you get the plastic one, you can clean it and it'll look fine. The next item, you wanna get your cotton swabs. You're definitely gonna need that when you move in. And if you use cotton for your face, you're gonna need cotton. Even if it's not for your face, if you um, run into like a cut or something, you're gonna need cotton. So don't forget to buy um, either cotton rounds or cotton squares. And you can get these at the dollar store. For your counter, you're gonna need um, washcloths because it does get really wet on there. So um, maybe get a pack and you really don't need to get too many because you can always wash these in the um, laundry. And um, with the washcloth, I'm just gonna add that you're gonna need a hand towel. If you're a type of person that likes to just walk away with your hands wet, I don't think your guests would like that. So definitely get a hand towel. Some things to buy in bulk, definitely get um, toothpaste in bulk, you'll run through them really fast. You can probably just go to a wholesale store for this, or you can probably get it on um, Walmart, Target. They usually sell like a four or three pack. Also get toilet paper in bulk. You don't want to run out of toilet paper. That's just tragic. If you're a woman, don't forget to stock up on hygiene products. You'll need it and just don't forget this in the store. I have some soap and um, some wipes, which I'm running out. So you can also get these at Costco. This self-explanatory, um, this is really cheap. It was only like a, a dollar or so. Um, you can also get the reed diffuser. I think that's what they're called, where you can just leave in your bathroom and not worry about that. I have cats, so I prefer to just keep this in my bathroom. Shower curtains are definitely a must. Um, you can get shower liners like this and just keep that, but then you're going to be naked when, um, if someone needs to use the bathroom. So get a shower curtain. I think these come in standard, um, sizes. I chose white because it just makes the bathroom look, um, brighter. Um, also buy the rings. You're going to need the shower rings. Um, to connect everything. Most apartments come with the shower rod, so I would double check. Moving on to shower items, I would definitely recommend getting um, body wash in bulk. It will last you a long time, so getting the bigger bottle is definitely recommended. I use this type of sponge um, for my body, and I also have this in case I need to exfoliate with my um, body scrub. This is kind of rough but it doesn't like hurt your skin um this i feel like is um, more eco-friendly than the plastic ones in the end i feel like there's something else i could use that's a lot better than this but um the only downfall about this is that it rips this is the shaver i use um it's joy by gillette and um i get the refills I think this is definitely um, more cost effective because you can just buy a whole bunch and replace the head. So I found this really helpful to keep in the shower. It's just a squeegee. I got this from Ikea. 
Um, now looking at it, it looks really dirty, but this was only, I think, like a dollar, so you can always just replace it. You can connect it to um, a mop head, so then you can um, extend the arms, but I just use it like this, and when my shower gets really um, hot at the end with water on the wall, I just, you know, squeegee it down. And this reduces mold if you live in a um, older styled apartment. Also, I got this in the kitchen section. I saw this TikTok where a lady said um, she keeps this in her shower with apple cider vinegar and um, dish soap and it helps um, keep away like the mold and the soap scum. So this is recommended. I haven't used this in a while, but when I do use it, I feel like my bathroom's a lot cleaner. I'm not going to show you guys because it's really dirty, but don't forget your plunger and your toilet bowl brush. Um, you can get that, I think, in a set from Target or Walmart. I got mine individually. And um, just look at the ones with good reviews because I used to get the ones from the dollar store and they would break e easily or it didn't work when I did need it. I know it's disgusting to think about using a plunger, but um, get a really good one because you don't want to just keep replacing it. So I have all my cleaning products I use for the bathroom on my counter now. I usually keep them um, in the cabinet down below. So the first thing I want to say is I got these gloves. They're honestly not worth it. I got them at the dollar store and they're just too tight on my fingers. So I would not recommend this. You can get the um, glove pack and I think that will just do it just as fine. You definitely need toilet bowl cleaner. Um, this is probably the best one I've used. And um, definitely don't forget to clean your toilet bowl. Just keep this overnight and your toilet will be a lot cleaner. Clorox Daily Shower. This reduces mildew. Um, you can spray this on, like it says, counter sinks plastic. Um, glazed or unglazed ceramic tile. I usually just spray it on my tiles in the um, shower. So that's usually the only um, time I use this. Spig and Spam Everyday Antibacterial Cleaner. This is really good for spraying down um, your toilet. Uh, I would just recommend having an all-purpose cleaner, um, like a mild soap in your apartment because you never know when you will need to use something like that. Uh, bathroom cleaner, soap and scum. This is really good for the inside of your toilet. It's very powerful. And a lot of these items, I would check the dollar store because I know the dollar store sells the toilet bowl cleaner and I think I got this from the dollar store. So check your dollar store first. This is from the dollar store also. This is just bleach powder. You can use this for so many different things in your bathroom. Lysol wipes, you wanna buy them in a multi-pack because you do go through them very easily and quick. Um, this is good, especially if you're um, on your phone a lot, you wanna clean down all your um, devices and re remote controls and all of the um, surfaces that people touch. So get this in a multi-pack. Fabuloso just smells really good. I don't know if it actually cleans. I feel like it's just for the scent. You definitely want to get foaming bleach. Um, good for when you're scrubbing dirty things down. This breaks apart the um, scum buildup. Dollar store again. This is liquid bleach. You never know when you'll need to use it for your sink or your um, toilet. Lysol spray is what you'll definitely need. I barely use this. Um, I think this is the only bottle I have in my apartment and honestly, it's lasts me so long. So just get one of these because you never know when you will need to use it. Just be careful when you're spraying it around other people and um, your pets because this is kind of um dangerous to inhale so use this sparingly and you can also spray down um the doorknobs and your um toilet handle so 
So don't forget to grab floss. Um, I got this at the dollar store and um, a few toothbrushes. I usually recommend getting a whole pack of toothbrushes so you can um, just draw them out and use a new one when you need to. Don't forget to get a trash can. I usually just use a small bin um, from Walmart and I use grocery store bags to line it. If you guys are weird about that and want to get trash can liners, don't forget to pick that up. So that concludes my video for everything you need um, moving into a new apartment for your bathroom. Let me know if you guys found this helpful. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!